Hello, my name's Lily and I'm going to give you a quick run through on how to prepare and also submit your VAT returns on QuickBooks Online. So to get to the VAT Centre, on the left hand side you'll see there's an option called VAT. Once you select this, you'll be presented with the, not with the screen of the VAT Centre. From here, you can start to prepare your returns, view any previously submitted returns and also run interim reports. So if you wanted to have a look before the VAT return was due, at where you were standing then you could under the VAT run reports. To prepare a return, if we select prepare return, we're then presented with a screen where we've already got some figures pulling through. The first thing you want to do though is double check that the dates are correct. So in this case we want to change the two to the end of September to make sure that we've got a full three months and a quarter. So here you can see the figures have now updated themselves if any of the figures look funny or you want to double check how they're made up, if you hover your mouse over top of them, you can see you're then presented with the option to view transactions. This will then give you a breakdown of how the figures are made up and the individual transactions involved. You can also do this in relation to the purchase tax and also any of the net figures for box 6 or box 7. At this stage, depending on how confident you feel with your VAT returns, you can either file it yourself, so here you have the option to do file online with HMRC, in which case you'll be presented with a screen where you can put your HMRC login details in and you can put the figures in and submit your VAT return. You can also do it as markers files, where this will be where QuickBooks will mark that the VAT return has been filed, but it won't actually take any of the figures to the revenue. This is a good option if you normally file on paper. The other option, if you're not confident in filing your VAT yourself and your accountant normally takes a look for you, this is where you can get them to have a login to your system if they're set up as your accountant and they too can run the VAT return and see the same figures that you've got and also have a look at the breakdown and make sure that they're happy that the figures included and the transactions are correct. If you've got any questions regarding VAT returns, leave them in the box below. If not, feel free to check out our other videos.